Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Stranded Deep Let's Play. This is Season 1, we're on Part 2. Okay, so I've got a lot to talk to you guys about. Okay, first of all, the save feature is not as robust as I hoped it would be. Um, I can't have separate saves, and the thing is I want to stream this game as well. Um, not only that, but the save feature, if you save the game and reload, it, it like, deletes your raft. It, like, your raft disappears. Now, you can make another raft using wood, but the problem with the raft using wood is, if you go too far out in the ocean, it disappears. <laughs> and then you're stuck out in the middle of the ocean. Uh, what, this all, what this all boils down to is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save the game. I'm, I'm still debating. Um, I think I want to make just a bunch of videos all at once, and just, you know, maybe start from scratch each time. Uh, I did start off on the raft, I came to a couple islands, I got a little bit built up here, so we don't have to start from the very beginning for you guys. But um, the fact of the matter is the save feature is pretty messed up. Okay. So, um, another thing I want to do right off the bat is uh, when I was streaming yesterday, I was streaming this game. And I ended up, you could see right here, the axe has durability and the knife has durability. I broke both of these items without noticing. And um, I was kind of screwed, you know. There's ways around it uh, where you can go get different tools or you can make tools in some way. But I'm going to make what's called a rock shard right now. Now, uh, the rock shard, there's a couple different ways of making it. You can actually smash it um, using the drag mechanic, or you can hit it with a sharp tool such as a crude axe. Now, I think I want to smash it just to see. I don't know how you would smash it. Smash it on the ground? You probably have to smash it against another rock. Whoa! There you go! Oh! Well, there you go, guys. If you ever get to the point where your axe and knife is gone, and you don't have anything to work with, all you have to do is find a rock, and turn it into a rock shard. Now, <clears throat> um, the rock shard is used for cutting down palm trees. Uh, it could also probably do the yucca plants. Um, it has invincible durability, uh, but it is the slowest tool out there. So this is kind of a backup tool. So, um, eh, good to have. All right, as you can see right here, I did make the crude axe. We have to go ahead and make the hammer. So let's do that right now. We need some lashings. Oh, where are the lashings? I know there's some lashings over here somewhere. There we go. So, nah, not close enough. <clears throat> Let's take these, put them right there. Take the lashings, put them right there. And the crude hammer. There we go. Look at that hammer pop off the ground. All right, so let's start making our place. I got a big pile of stuff here. Let's go ahead and make a foundation. Now, again, on the stream, I made a foundation that was... Um, hold on, I'm trying to think I want to do this. That should work. I made a foundation on the stream, which was two by two. Um, it was a big foundation, but the fact of the matter is it was too big and kind of pointless. So I'm going to make a two by one just to give myself a little extra room, um, but at the same time not have to worry about, you know, some BS. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. And can't do anything here, huh? Probably need more sticks. And I got some more sticks up here. Let's grab these sticks and throw them in the pile. Alright, I was watching my buddy Granger stream, and he just throws everything he has in one pile. It was so, so easy. Alright, we don't want to campfire just yet. Foundation. Okay, so now we can't make anything to the foundation, because in order to make stuff, you have to put them on the foundation. So let's, let's grab this stuff and throw it on the foundation. Actually, um, I want to make some stairs. You can actually make stairs. So let's do that. I think the stairs take six lashings, though. So, let's just throw a bunch of sticks over here, and we're going to get some more lashings. I've also been told that <clears throat> you can get sunburn in this game, you can get stung in this game, and the way you could tell if you get sunburn is you kind of like bring your arm up, and it looks like I might be getting sunburn there. You can see right there. Uh, my hunger and thirst meter are okay, so let's go ahead and look for some yucca plants. Not potato plants, yucca plants. I know there's some on this island, but um, I just don't remember where. Alright, the moon's starting to come up. Really, really good looking game. Really like, I really like the way this game looks. I like the way it plays. Um, I'm starting to look at the wiki and what's known about the game, and it does seem to be a little limited at the moment. But don't let that discourage you, because the game's in early alpha. And uh, they're going to be doing a lot more with it. I, I know it. So, Alright, here we go. I think we need six lashings for the stairs. 
Oh, it's getting real dark, damn it. Not good for a video. Another thing that's not good for a video in this game is all the sailing you have to do on the ocean. <laughs> so, I might make cuts, we'll see. I'll try and figure out stuff to talk about. Because a lot of it is sailing on the ocean, and if I, um... If I don't have anything to talk about and I cut out the sailing, then, you know, there's not much else to show. Alright, let's throw these over here. Let's throw the rock shards down. We don't really need these right now. We just gotta remember where they are. All right. So those those uh, yucca plants will grow back, but I, I really don't have to wait. Ooh, rocks. So one of the hardest things about this game apparently is finding rocks. Um, rocks are going to be the bane of your existence in this game. They're they're hard to find. They're very limited, and you're probably gonna have to go sailing to other item to other islands to find more rocks. Now, the problem with sailing to other islands to find more rocks is, well, finding your way back to your original island. It's not easy. So, that's why I picked this island to live on, because there's a boat here. So, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to find my way back here. Right, I can't find any more lashings. Did I have another lashing, or did I use it? Ugh. That kind of sucks. Um, I might have to pause the video here, because... Uh, Gotta wait for these yucca plants to grow back. Now, nope, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and cut down some trees. Here we go. I will show you my uh, magical formula of cutting down trees. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a magical formula. It's just, um, I usually cut them down and then I bring them over to my build site. It's pretty cool using the drag mechanic. So let's cut this bad boy down. All right, you come with me. See, pretty cool, right? There you go. And we're gonna cut this sucker up. Uh, we're getting lots of sticks, uh, you know, to make our shelter. Um, like I said, you can get sunburned. You can also get sick. Uh, apparently, if your guy starts coughing, that means you're sick. And I, we're thinking, well, not, not a lot is known about this game. But what the people are thinking is, the people on the internet, the people I've talked to, is that being out in the rain will cause you to get sick. Makes sense. Although... When, when it's um, 108 degrees out, I don't think you're going to get hyperthermia, so I don't understand why being wet in 108 degrees is that much of a problem. But, you know, whatever. Um, that 108 degrees thing, I'm pretty sure, is just bugged at the moment, and, you know, it will be fixed eventually. Uh, there we go. Well, what we could do while we're waiting for those yucca plants is we can actually start building the... Um, the walls and the structures around the little platform here. So let's, uh, actually, these might be close enough. Let me see. Where's my hammer? Seriously, where's my hammer? Yeah, there we go. Supports. Now, it's just like rust. You have to put supports pretty much in every corner. So... And um, in the uh, other places too, like the um, the middling places, like right there. Support. Support. There we go. And support. All right, there we go. We got all our supports up. Uh, now we got to throw some more sticks down. And we'll throw some rope. And um, we'll throw some rocks over here because we don't really need those right now. Where are the shards? Keep all the rocks in the same place. Okay. Grab these. Grab these. Throw these all down. Let's grab the rest of this, the sticks too. And it looks like it's all the sticks we have. Uh, four. Five. There we go. All right. So we're going to put a wall. Um, I'm trying to think of which way I want to... Yeah. Let's put the wall right here. There we go. And another wall. Right there. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Yeah. Let's just go over here. Should have done that in the first place. I'm going to put a wall right here. And that's it. We need more wood. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's go and get some more wood. We can also check on this yucca plant. Yes, yeah, sweet. So basically, you want to hit these yucca plants anytime they're up because since they respawn, you know, you just want to hit them as often as possible. Even if you don't think you're going to need the lashings. I don't really see the other one, but it's kind of dark, so I won't bother looking at it or looking for it. Let's cut this tree down. It's kind of funny. There's extra trees on the island, but you can only cut down the palm trees. It's kind of weird. Kind of sucks, too, because the palm trees will be the last ones you cut down because they're giving you food. All right, so we got a bunch of sticks. We got a bunch of lashings. We should have everything we need now for the stairs. So let's check this out. Steps, there we go. And not gonna work because there's too much stuff there. Let's try again. There we go. Now we got our stairs. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, and here we go. That's how we get into our little house here. And this is going to be our front door. Nice view. I like it. I like it. Um, let's finish up our walls and our roof now. All right. Three, four, five, two, five, six. I'm just guessing. There we go. All right. Support's not going to do it. Um, throw some more sticks down. We need a lot more sticks. And here comes the sun. Very nice. Okay. Wall. And a wall. And there's all our walls. Now we just need the roof. Alright, we need more sticks. So there we go. There's our, uh, our little base here. It's pretty cool. Um, now we can start throwing stuff down. Uh, the thing is, once you throw stuff in here, it won't go falling all over the island. So that's why I like to throw stuff in here. Maybe I should keep that. Nah, we'll hold on to the water bottle for now. Alright. I don't think I want to keep building materials in here, though. It's not really big enough for building materials, to be honest. Alright, there we go. We cleaned out our inventory a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw everything back in the front. So when we build, it's uh, nice and organized. Okay, uh, let's grab the can. Uh, I keep wanting to call them cantaloupes. Oh wow, my water bottle did fall through. I didn't think it would. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm kind of, it's kind of weird how that fell through. Oh, well, it'll be all right there. Okay, is there anything else? Oh yeah, we got the rocks, and we need the rock shards. I'm pretty sure that's everything I had on the ground over here. Let's go put these things in our hut. It, the, these rock shards are very important. Although, now that I know you could break a rock on the ground, they're not as important. But still, I mean, you know. Actually, you know, oh, it knocked them out of there. That's what happened. So rock shards are, can stay in here, but rocks go outside. And food items stay in here as well. And my lighter fell out. So that's interesting. I didn't think stuff would fall out of the... Uh, I didn't think so, I didn't think so would fall out of here, but if you knock something into something else, it can fall out. Interesting, very interesting. All right, so I'm debating what I want to do now. Honestly, I'm debating on whether I want to save the game or not, because I want to I, I want to go out and like explore, but I'm afraid of getting killed by sharks. Now the thing is, um, when I was streaming, tiger sharks would not attack me no matter what I did. So I'm not quite sure what's what's up with the sharks in this game, but I'm a little nervous because if I die, I haven't saved the game and I lose everything. If I save the game, I'm going to lose my raft. Uh, I think I might as well save the game because you know I don't want to lose everything. But I'm just afraid I'm, I'm just think I might not die. Um, while I was streaming, I also got stuck in one of the ships, so I had to like restart the game. So that was kind of annoying, which my thing got knocked out. Yep, it did. All right. Well, I think anything small. We have to be careful of. Maybe we'll put the small stuff over here. And the bigger stuff over here. I don't know. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go stand inside the raft. And save the game and see if, you know, 
see how that works. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose my raft, but I don't really see any other way around it because I can't, I can't put myself in jeopardy with sharks and uh, not have a save file. Um, it's better to not have the raft than have to start from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out here, and then I'm going to stand in here, and I'm going to save. Um, you know what? Saving the game, loading games and stuff also crashes fraps sometimes, so I'm going to do this off camera, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and just as I thought, I've lost the raft, so... Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I hope they fix that, though, because that's, that's kind of a problem. Um, like I said, I can make a makeshift raft, like, out of wood, but they usually disappear in the middle of the ocean. So, I'll pro I'll do it, I'll do it, though, just to show you guys. Alright, so, anyway, now I don't have to worry about dying, at least. Let's leave this in here. Now, let's leave this outside. Alright, well, with that being said, let's, uh, let's go, let's go do some exploring. Can I get through here? No. Can I get through there? No. Can I get in there at all? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Really? I can't get in there at all, huh? I might be able to build a platform on here and... Uh, come on, get in there, get in there! Oh, almost. Let's try again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta do some hardcore parkour. Wow, why didn't I jump off that? There we go, look at that! Hardcore parkour! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything in here, though. Wow, well, that was... Pointless. Okay, it's probably all below. But I can't get in there. Can I get in there through here? Yeah. Yeah, I can't get in there. Oh well. Let's move on. There might be some more boats. You could usually see, uh, oh, what's that? What is that? See on the ocean that little bump? Let's go see what that is. Okay, we got some sharks out here. So uh, this is why I saved in case these sharks kill me. So oh, I don't know what these are. These little things here. Is it crabs live or something? I don't know. Possibly. All right, let's look around some more. This is actually quite a nice island. Um, I suggest if you can, you live on an island with a boat. It'll help you, like, uh, you know, see your island from farther away. Oh, we got another wreckage over here. Let's go check it out. Mm, you know what? We should probably eat first. I will show you guys how to eat. Alright, so what are we going to eat here? We're going to eat coconuts. Why not, right? We do have some potato plants. Maybe we should eat potato plants. I haven't ate potato plants yet. So. And they might grow back. Kind of like the yucca plant. Nope. They probably don't actually. That looked like it's not going to grow back. And I don't know if you have to cook these. Food. Because. Okay. Well. Let's see what we got here. We got two hunger bars. Let's see what we get. Really? Nothing? Do you have to cook them first? No, that one gave me a hunger bar. You might have to cook them first. I'm going to hold on to these potatoes for now. And yes, I will show you guys how to cook at some point, but uh, not right now. I'll do that at night. Alright, so well, those potatoes didn't really do much. So let's um, let's go ahead and have some... Uh, again, I want to call these damn things cantaloupes, uh, but they're not coconuts. Now you should. Now what you could do is, uh, and I didn't show you this last video. You can actually, because I didn't know, you can actually drink out of the coconut and then eat it. And this is another problem with the game. You see how your hunger bar goes down way quicker than your thirst meter? No, no, not on a desert island like this. Your thirst meter would be going down way quicker than your hunger. You would have to drink way more than you'd have to eat. So that's kind of a problem. But with that being said, we might as well drink out of it because there's no reason not to. 
and um, as Tom ta- um, as Tom Hanks told us in Castaway, uh, coconut milk is a natural laxative. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing my business a lot. But all right, so there we go. So we can throw this down now, and we've already drank we've already drank out of it, and now we can break it. If I could find my axe, there we go. It's a little tricky to hit it sometimes. There we go. All right, now let's see what these things give us. We got three hunger bars. I'm just going to eat two of them. And now we're at four. So two of them give you one hunger bar. Now I'm full on, I'm full on hydration, so there's no point in even drinking this one. Get another one. Oh, I think I am hitting them, even though it doesn't make the little sound. Oh, my thing just broke. Okay, let's get away with this knife. Let's eat up. And let's uh let's go explore. Yeah, now we've got some hunger going. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's go explore this wreck, then we'll call it a video. What's this? I think just a barrel. I wonder what these, uh, bubbles are all about. Archer? Wait, what was that? What was that? What did that just say? What is it? Archer. Yeah, it did say Archer. Why is it saying that? Huh. You guys have any idea why it's saying Archer there? Let me know. Ugh, nothing in here. Hmm, weird. Alright guys, well my timer's gonna be going off soon, so we're gonna call this one here. That'll be it for part three. And we'll see you next time for part four. Till then, take it easy.